Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are trying another modern deck. Another pioneer deck. I don't know why I said modern. Um, after this, I'm going to go grab some food, and then I'll be back afterwards to, uh, to stream a little more later tonight, I believe. But I'm going to take a break, get some food. Right now, we're going to be playing this black-red deck that I thought was pretty sweet. Two Fatal Push, four Thoughtseize, four Shock, four Abbot of Carol Keep, four Mix Rat, Mix, Rix Mad Eye Reveler, two Dreadbore, and four Croxa. Titan of Death's Hunger, which is just awesome. Two Lilianas, two Murderous Rider, two Bone, four Bone Crusher Giant, three Coligon's Command. All these cards are very, very good. Three Chandra Torture Defiance, one Cut and and Ribbons. And then our sideboard is there's only 21 lands in this deck, but I guess you kind of curve out at four, really. Uh, source of this is actually a two drop for the most part. One Sorcerer Spyglass, three Collective Brutality, which doesn't do anything against the Inverter combo. One Angrath's Rampage, three Lost Legacy, which does. Uh, two Anger of the Gods, two Chandra, and, uh, you know, three Ashiox. Uh, choose a, yep, alright, cool. Let's give this a, let's give this a, the old college try. I'm gonna take off for the Eve. Hodgegolashi, glad to have you back, buddy, and, uh, good seeing you, my dude. Have a great evening, and I will see you soon, I'm sure. I will definitely be on more regularly now that I'm settled in. And I've got, like, all my sorting and boxes taken care of and stuff. I made sure to count the land colors to make sure we didn't run into any of the last deck problems. Then I realized it was just, hey man, where's the third color? How are you going to tap for that? That's a good question. How come it doesn't tell me where my deck is? I thought it would tell you what the deck is. Oh, it's... Oh, uh, leave event, leave event, leave event. I guess it did not choose the different deck. That's weird. Thank you. Did Mike move with me? Yes, he did. Hajigulashi, thank you so much, my dude. You are awesome. Good lord. Thank you're, you. You're the hero we need. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Really appreciate you, my dude. Thank the you. light is staying on now. The light has not gone off, so I assume that I have troubleshot it. And the problem Thank you. was the outlet. Not the outlet, but the uh, the smart outlet, I guess. Thank so you. I'm probably going to email... It's a, it's a company named Aki, and they make a bunch of like tech devices. So I'm probably going to email them. And be like, hey, this is not working. I mean, it's a year and a half old, but I have to assume that like it should work for longer than that. All right, let's see what we got here. I will keep this hand. Sure, why not? Uh, I don't know if I changed my stream times. I did change my own time zone, though. And also, I have no idea what my stream times are or are going to be on Witching Well. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, yeah, that deck is definitely not correct, Mike. Tano's with the resub. I I actually I think I said that. I just was reading my my little event list. So I'm just gonna play this. Not gonna reveal anything. No need to. Hmm. Well, I still actually will play for Boating Ruins, reveal a mountain, and pass. So we get to keep a Bone Crusher Giant if we need it. Oh boy. Witching Well and Oracle? Is this like a Doom Foretold list? What's going on here? Any decks that you think would be the next tier? I'm not sure, actually.
The worst part of getting over the flu, bronchitis, and a science and bronchitis and a science infection back to back is all the craft turning on my yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I feel like we can actually shoot their face here. Maybe we have tons of removal in our hand without this. Uh... I actually also don't know what they're doing, so I'm just gonna play this guy. This is a lot of, they're doing a lot of things, but none of them are really. That don't impress me much. How do you play Witching Well, Omen, Omen, and Missalandrop? I don't understand. I'm confused. I guess we'll just keep playing Foreboding Ruins for as long as we have basics in hand. Merfolk Tricky. Tricky McTrickster. This is only spells, right? We're going to start a spell, sure. Okay, that's interesting. All right. <clears throat> oh, it is. It's probably Mono Blue Devotion. That's probably correct. Let's see if they have another Merfolk Trickster. I mean, they have four Devotion right now, so it's not like Master of Waves is actually pretty pretty brutal. Man, every every time in the multiple Tricksters. Okay, so we're hoping for no Master of Waves, I guess, because that really makes our life hard. I appreciate you finishing these Shania Twain lyrics for me. Well, it's too late. The murderous rider is already gone. So. And the thing is, like, I'm not actually killing. Um, I'm not actually killing the trickster because, like, if we can't get rid of the, mer the merfolk. Yeah, here it is. Yep. If we can't get rid of this guy, then we're just absolutely mowing. I didn't realize it was Mono Blue Devotion until it was too late, unfortunately, but. Kolagon's Command. Is this instead? Put on the bottom of its owner's library. Yeah, all right. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. <sighs> Two damage to any target, but not this one. Destroy an artifact. That doesn't do anything. Discard a card. I guess we can get rid of their hand and then only take 14. I mean, if they have a second Master of Waves, then we're just dead, right? But this, I think our deck is actually fine against Master of Waves. Discard a card, destroy... I guess we're getting rid of, getting rid of the... Discard a card. Return a creature, return a creature, return a creature. Yep. All right, so we're going to get back Croxa. Make them discard a card. Play Croxa. We still have Shock for, like, whatever. Merfolk Trickster, I guess. D 
Gadwick. Thassa's rebuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not anymore, though. <laughs> All right, we're hoping for like a Liliana of the Last Hope or another murderous rider. Or a Chandra that will draw us into either of those. They can't attack with Master. And we have at least two blockers for this. Two, and, and like kind of three because of the life gain. So we take 10, but then we gain two. I'm not going to shock a horse here. Do they top take Master Waves? Tempest Gin. Okay. Well, we're getting rid of this guy. And then we're just dread boring that guy. And then hoping for Liliana. Because that would actually put us in a great position. Dragon Skull Summit's also pretty good here. But not but not really <clears throat> just gonna pass here just keep passing i guess we're almost at croxa territory which is nice master of waves number two ley line of anticipation not a card i care about liliana the last hope uh spectacle if an opponent lost life this turn let's see Just block with two horses. Block with no horses. Block with one horse. Block with no horse. Block with two horses. Three horses. Okay. It's fine with me. Thank you. Uh, draw a card. I guess I'll just play this. Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Oh, that worked out well. I would prefer if they had a card to discard, but I think our board is looking good now. Just on top tech master waves. Oh god, are they top tech master waves that we get to? We get to the end of the turn to play this, so if it's like a removal spell. Chandra. Well, they have to play whatever they drew now. And of course it's Master of Waves. That's actually unbelievable. Oh, it's Gadwick for one. Okay, that's much less impressive. And they have to discard the one card they drew. All right. Wow. Oh, man. I was like, Master of Waves? Like, because there's very few cards that can use all four mana in this deck, so... And we get to hit this Chandra here. That's pretty gas. We're definitely just killing the Gadwick. Yeah, I feel like we're doing okay here. <laughs> yeah, I guess winning is okay. All right, so... Oh, boy. Shocks are actually decent here. Bone Crusher Giants are decent here. I want to make sure we have enough red... Or, uh... I think Collective Brutality is probably pretty decent. I mean, only two of the modes are good. You want to kill the guy and then probably gain two, but eh. I think it's probably worth at least one just to deal with um, Master of Waves because that guy is a real problem. But I mean, as far as Master of Waves goes, we have 
four answers. Looks like six answers total. It's not a lot. Yeah, I like double collective brutality here. Anger of the Gods gets rid of all the guys too, but... I know a drunk. Have a good night, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, my dude. Give me your heart, make it real. I will keep this hand. Blood Crypt into Thought Seas into Kroxa seems good. I guess to a lesser extent, Thought Seas is also a way to deal with uh, Master of Huevos. Don't care for Ratchet Bomb. These two get killed real easy. Let's take the Master of Waves. Your hand is not very good. What is Ratchet Bomb doing against us? I guess you put it on two to kill Croxa. Ratchet Bomb Island, sure. Water ponies. Get out of here. You sound crazy right now. Yep, you got it. The old main phase. Pumperino. I don't really want to play Abbott here. I like playing Abbott when I actually have a thing that I could realistically cast. Like, there's so many cards that we can't hit. I like Abbott as, like, a, a five-mana play. So, like, most of your cards are still available. Uh, sure. I mean, this guy already had Flash, so... We know the two cards in your hand? That's pretty funny. I almost want to just play... Shoot you with Bone Crusher. And then just play it next turn. Keep up Shock. Yeah, next turn playing Abbott, the only thing we can't hit is, like, Chandra, which is great. Alright, so they're definitely going to tap this... No. Okay. Well, we're going to attack. Putting it on two seems weird, though, because you have these two guys. So I don't know what you put on three, I guess. Uh, you may return a tapped cre What? You're just going to bounce my guy? But then I, I just kill this guy? All right. That was weird. One, two, three. Okay. Sure. I mean, Master of Waves here is still very, very good. So we're hoping it's not one of your last two cards, I guess. All right. And they can play everything at instant speed, so if this is Master Tempest Gen. Sure. So we get to take the last card? Yeah, alright, cool. I 
I mean, we're at 12, but four of our damage was taken from our own car. Oh, six of our damage, so we only took two damage from them. Mm, yep, that's fine. Because Crocs is actually online next turn if we shock this guy. Which we are 1,000% going to do when they have one card in hand. Sure. Boom, boom, thank boom, you. Boom, boom, boom. Chris Zuski, man, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 48 months? Good lord. Well, it's four years. That's still a long time, my dude. Here comes Master of Waves that they dug for. They're like, oh, wait, I can cast this at instant speed. That's right, my dude. Coligon's command, huh? That's interesting. I mean, we're still going to attack. Because actually we can kill this guy in response. And then their Master Wave is actually pretty unimpressive. I mean, three three of these guys is not great, especially when we can Coligon's command one of them. Yeah, that's that's okay. You're gonna go to the back of the bus. Yeah, I think this is fine. And then we just actually... <sighs> Making them discard a card doesn't do anything. Destroying an artifact. It's two damage to any target. So we can kill an elemental. I think we're just getting this guy back. Oh, yeah. K command in the Abbot and pushing the Master. I wasn't thinking that far. Like, I wasn't thinking... About killing our own guy after the, the shock was gone. Wait, they're just dead, right? Like, we just put them to two with Coligon, put them to three with Coligon's command, and then Croxa kills them, right? Yeah, they're a three, and then Croxa kills them if they don't have a card to discard. If they don't have a land to discard, so. They did. Alright. Man, Crox is a hell of a drug. Yeah, they knew it. They're like, well, I know what's up, my dudes. All right, give me one second. I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Let's do it again. I'm closing this because Magic Online only remembers it if you close it and then reopen it. And then it remembers the position, so...
This hand actually seems okay. We have this, this, and this to hit a third land. So. Play line. Boy, is this the same player? Might be. I, I mean, I can't imagine it's... Actually, it might not be the same player, but it's definitely the same archetype. Nope, different player. Close. Open. Hmm. I'm going to say no here. Like, I doubt they're going to play anything on their turn with Leyline of Anticipation in play, so. Ooh, that was a good draw. Do you think Liliana's good here? Let's find out if they want to go fast as a blessing and counter this. Ooh, they did not. So even if they play a two drop, it's still fine. Oh, they play a one drop. Oh, a one power creature is what I meant to say, not a one drop. Yeah, get in there. Hit that Liliana. We're probably going to play out of Carol Keep if we don't hit a land here in order to hit a land. We did not hit a land. So they can go one, two, add four, and play Master of Waves at the end of the turn, which is pretty good. That will definitely kill our Liliana. And that's what they're gonna do. It's gonna be disgusting. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, blocking one of these guys doesn't really do anything, and we're still hoping for a hit. So, I guess we'll just take it. Instead of croutons, do you use utons? I actually don't even eat Caesar salad, so joke's on you, Bob. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Master of Master of Waves is a real scumbag. One day I won't call my shots. But not today. This guy's not even legendary, which is very surprising to me. Got him. I really actually don't know what to do about... Like, I guess we're playing this just for the discard. Get rid of Bone Crushy. Habit of Crow Keep. Well, let's pass here, I guess. Where's Mike B? Probably in his room. I don't keep track of him. Hmm. I don't think we can win this game.
Uh, yeah, you definitely do want to kill the Master of Waves. You're right. <laughs> if you have a way to do that, you let me know. Oh, by stomp you mean bone crusher giant? Yeah, no, protection from red doesn't let you cast red spells against a creature. <laughs> that is not how that works, my friend. Use the hidden mode on makeshift mannequin. Wow, that's gas. That's gas. What can we block it with? <laughs> you can't acknowledge pro red and then tell me to block it. What? What's even happening right now? Actually, yeah, that's a good strategy. Yeah, I, forgot, I, I always forget about the damage camp prevent clause. So actually, we can if they do block our guy with Master of Waves. Um, if they're just scrying every turn, like that's fine. But three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's exactly lethal. Okay. So, taking the shocks out, bringing collective brutality. I don't actually hate Anger of the Gods, but they kill so many of our creatures. We have four Abbots, four Rick's Mad Eye, four Bone Crusher, two Mur Like, it kills all of our creatures. Maybe we just bring a one of in here. The sand seems good. I will keep it. What do they have that we can... Collective Brutality. Have you asked a way to stop attacking? Not yet. Well, that was a good draw. That was... Oh. I keep doing that. Ugh. I keep playing these thinking these are like, you know, the correct land type. Sure. Top. Man, if I played that last turn. Collective Brutality, saving for Master. We have Fatal Push, but I'd still rather. I 
Master waves for one? Hmm. Fascinating. So yeah, Abbot of Carl Keep next turn is great because the only card it can hit is Chandra. I mean, they, we want them to have a creature because we have a lot of removal in our deck, but... Liliana, one time. Dragon Skull Summit. In the big rock candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountain. Alright, so... This is actually even better because now we have four mana, so we can play every card in our deck that we might hit. And it's a land. I mean, we're not drawing these lands, which is nice, but like, our graveyard's not filling that quickly either, so. Good times. Pop these guys out so you can see them a little better. Okay, I'm like, you're dead, right? You're dead, right? Collective Brutality. Pretty good. Did its job. I think I just want the other one over the anger. Like, they don't amass a ton of creatures. Oh, and then Thanos was gone as soon as he appeared. Tonos, miss you, buddy. Uh, that is the Tonos emote. It was made for Tonos. The user Tonos. Twitch user Tonos. That is actually Tonos, the character in Magic the Gathering. In the big rock of Candy Mountain. Big Brother was a good movie. Oh, brother, not big brother. No, I said big brother. Big brother, where art thou? Oh, this is great, because now we can lead on Blood Crypt. And then play Foreboding Ruins on turn two with two mana up. Play Croxa. Croxa Faith. They're going to Aether Gust this. Nope, it resolved. They lose a card. Lose a card. What is this? Equal to your ocean of blue. Each blue -ish. creatures and enchantment you control have spells your opponent's cast target costs one more. Sure. Ain't that cute. So we can easily shock this. And then just murderous rider this next turn. And the bigger okay. Actually, this is probably better value, right? Hmm. 
the the big rock candy mountain. All right, so I think we just murderous rider this, but we can do it at any time, right? So I'd rather do it on their turn if they have something now. Kind of ruins their turn, right? We're not going to play Bone Crusher. Or maybe we are. Maybe we just drop a Bone Crusher. He's on an adventure. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Never change, Magic. Thank you. Okay, so next turn we take three, but then we easily get to kill this with pretty much anything. Illusions! Donate! GG! Rob, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome, my dude. So I don't have a way to kill their whole board right now, unfortunately. Do you want to try to hit a land with Abbot of Krell Keep? Probably. Thoughtseize. Yeah, we'll probably play that. Okay, so they have two islands. That seems good. Alright, so hopefully they just don't draw anything here. They play an island. I think, uh, realistically, there's very few things they can... That's annoying. And we're definitely doing this. I mean, next turn we could also collect a brutality, discard something. Hmm. So another hand is one island, right? I kind of just want to bone crusher this, and then. Bone Crusher. Actually, let's just pass here, right? Fifty dollars worth of fudge. God, sounds amazing. You're living your best life for sure. I'm jealous of it. I hope they just draw land here. They played an island, so they have one card. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. But I hope that it's not a good card. Well, it was an annoying card. Oh, wow. Any blue creature actually does me dirty right here, right? Maybe we should have just done this first, right? Because then we get an infinite blocker. Yeah, we probably should have just done this to kill this guy anyway. I didn't want to waste both of them, but I don't know if it's a waste, really. Okay, well. I'm actually going to discard this Liliana, and we're going to gain two here, because I don't like being at four life. Or not. No, 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 we're not. Because, like, if they have if they draw Master of Waves, I want to be able to deal with it. We have all four Bone Crusher Giants. That's pretty insane. Well, they're in top deck mode. I would like you to sing my above post to the tune of Big Rock Candy Mountain. There are demands. In the Blood Rock Hardness Mouth Man, you never chair your paw. And the spittle dreams of chowder all come thusly to a... What does that even mean? I think you're drunk. All right, we're trying to hit a land here. So we can actually play this Lily. Instead, we got a Dreadbore and we can't do anything else. Probably should have just played Lily, right? What standard decks you got queued up? Literal none. Why would I have any standard decks queued up? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What the hell is a standard deck? Okay, so we're just gonna... Actually, I like the life gain a little bit better here. All right, 
Well, that's good, because if they play... Yeah, we're just going to attack for a million here. Four Bone Crushers in the... Thassa's Oracle. My original title said Standard? I'm pretty sure it says Pioneer Brews and maybe some THB Drafts. Is that not correct? I never changed. I haven't changed my title since the start of the stream, my dude. Let's bone crush. Bone crusher is ready. Lily does finish off the oracle, but I want to save the oracle because they can always go end of turn master of waves and then threaten us with a ton of damage. What the hell's a notification bar? Rob's drunk. God, it's typical. Typical drunk Rob. I mean, this is rough if they have the stupid Master of Waves, right? So maybe we just attack with these guys. Pew, 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 pew. Wow, eight mana. What the shoot? Yep, that's pretty good. Draw five, huh? All right, now we're going to play Liliana because if they want to survive. Should have played this first, maybe? I don't know. No, I mean, the prowess is nice. I actually could have played this and Dreadboard their creature for infinite prowess. Maybe that would have been good. This is on upkeep, huh? Okay. Lily does get back stomp, which is actually not nothing. We can also cast a Croxa pretty soon, I imagine. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure we're 100% playing this guy. Uh, yeah, I made it work. I got a storage unit. <laughs> it's gonna be like... Wizard's Retort. Okay. Hmm... I don't want to use Liliana in case they have Master of Waves. But I'm killing this now because it forces them to play Master of Waves now or it's pretty pathetic. It also prowesses these guys. Wow. All right. Well, prowess is still, still a thing. Master of Waves. Thassa? Online, no less. Yikes. That's good. It doesn't do much here, though, because you do get to kill... Maybe they don't block with this, just go to five. Or go to one, rather. Kind Buzz, what's going on, my dude? This was an interesting block. They go to three. Kill this guy. Let's 
And now we have a lot of power on board, along with the ability to get back at either a Croxa or a Bone Crusher Giant. Plus, I only have one card, so. That's a lot of devotion. Oh, good lord, Rob. Oh, we just win that game, too. All right, 2-0 against the uh, the Mono Red Menace. Or the Mono Blue Menace, rather. I'm, I'd am i like to play one more, but I think i got to go pick up my food. I don't know how long this is going to take. So I'm probably just going to pause here. All right, let's try another one. I hate Disney. I watch the Pixar shorts on Disney+, and half of them made me cry. <laughs> If you guys want a great show to watch on Disney+, Plus, check out The Imagineers, I believe it's called. <clears throat> the Imagineering Story, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's actually mind-blowing. It's only six episodes, and it's really, really enjoyable. It's, it makes, if you're going to Disney, it's super, it lets you appreciate it so much more. Dennis, what's going on? Disney was awesome, my dude. Oh, I think that's you who asked that, isn't it? So, yes. <laughs> I will repeat the question, or the answer, and the question. I'll repeat everything. All right. Well. Anyway. Let's play some Magic the Gathering. <laughs> all right playing stoneheart which i'm pretty sure is uh the same mono blue devotion player that we played earlier so i guess we're just going ham on the mono blue devotion tonight Look, my hair is like totally transparent what's going on uh we'll keep this we'll take about 14 But we get to go turn one Thought Season to turn two Croxa, which is probably, like, the best start we're looking for. Mutavolt is interesting. Oh, this is Mono Red instead. Double Glorybringer. Yeah, I'll just let you have the Glorybringers. They're very good, but... You know. Mountain... Mutavolte. <clears throat> they probably discard one glory breaker, which means we just have the one to deal with. I had a feeling, a feeling deep inside. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, no. Next turn we get to Chandra, which is pretty okay. Oh, it's a little catty ziv, eh? Oh, another Chandra, huh? 
okay, so now we know they have Remunap Ruins into Glory Bringer, which is not great for us. I think we can actually play this, discard one of these million Chandras. <laughs> so you know there are two cards, right? I mean, after Rins Glorybringer, right? So like they're gonna let them play the Glorybringer, we're gonna take four. Okay. And then we're gonna kill it with Chandra. Oh, we let them attack? That's weird. Why would we do that? I guess we can actually double block. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, it's still fine. It doesn't really change our plan, because we get to kill this guy, prowess, and then block the monkey anyway, so it's... Oh, it's a 2-1. Yes, it does. That changes our plan. For some reason, I thought we'd survive. That was pretty dumb. <clears throat> yep, that was not ideal, unfortunately. Like, this is exerted, so we actually don't have to deal with it this turn, interestingly enough. So I'm just going to play this, make them discard their last card. <coughs> And then we get to go Chandra, kill the Glorybringer. If we draw on a land, we can play the other Kroxa. That's aggressive. This is very aggressive. Do we Abbot of Carol Keep hope to hit a land? That's the question. I don't think we can risk it. I think we just have to Chandra, kill the Glorybringer. I will keep my eyes out, though, and if uh, we end up drawing a land, I'm going to feel pretty sad. Okay, so Realm Master is going to be a 2, 3, 4, 5, so we're definitely blocking that. We go to 3... Definitely would have been better if we had the, uh, is everyone at me? Sure. <coughs> I guess hope you didn't top take a lightning bolt. So, so they have two guys. We want to be able to kill both of them. I want to make make them discard a card. But Colagon's Command might be better value here, just shooting the Goblin, making them discard. Sure. Well, now we just don't want them to hit a land, I guess. <coughs> Any removal spell they draw is also just going to kill Abbott, so. Yeah, 
big surprise. <sighs> yep. All right, collective brutality definitely comes in. We can get rid of a shock. Cut to ribbons. I don't actually love Kolagon's command. I Dreadborg can probably come out. Everything is just really slow. I mean, we messed up with the Abbot of Carol, Carol Key play. We let them get to <clears throat> go to combat, which meant we had to throw away our guy, but... Let's get rid of one of the Croxes, I think. Was a good hit. We're just going to stomp this guy now because if they have any land, we don't get to do that. Or any spell, rather. Any prowess card. Bone Crushers ready. That's a dude, all right. Should have just played that first, I guess. I'm really just trying to get this guy on. Wow, you just discarded a rampaging ferocidon. Guess we're taking five. I think we're just dead. Oh god, never mind. This guy deals us a million. Yep, that's just game. We just literally died of this guy on the spot. Alright, well that was cool. Yikes. That was a yikes. Uh, I mean, going to 16 on turn one is oh, never the best play.
foreboding ruins one time look at this these these lands are great looking i'm a fan I'm not really afraid of that much on turn two that I can't deal with with my hand currently with Fatal Push and Shock, so I'm actually going to not take two damage here. Let them wild slash me. If I had a million dollars. Now you guys are going to get this song stuck in my head? That's cool. Carries it. Thought sees you. Man, these mono red decks are real, real common. Um, I'm gonna take the chain whirler because I don't want to play that next turn. Then we can take the Torbran. Thank you. And let's hope they don't top deck a ravenous rampaging frost. T Ravis, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Is the contrast on my face too high? Yeah, I don't care about that guy that much. I kind of want to out of care. I'll keep to the land, but we can't do that because we have to thought seize and get rid of this Torbran. Oh, wow, they F6'd. So we got to kill this with a shock. That's fantastic. Wow, that worked out really well for us. Yikes. I mean, they can cast both of these. Three, four, five. I think we're just going to play Abbott, try to hit a land. We did not because we're not good at this game. Let's see if they want to wild slash our abbot. Well, I'm not completely on the west coast, but I am closer to the west coast by a good deal. Okie dokie. So we know you have one card and it's a lightning strike. Ideally, we hit a land next turn. Just for the funsies of it. They just keep hitting lands. Alright, this has to be land, right? Jesus. Well, we're digging deeper. Alright, they have no cards in hand. We have no creatures. Sounds good. K Command's pretty good, though. Gets back Abbott. But we do have to hit a land first. Oh, it's a top land! Beep, 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 beep. This guy can come down pretty soon, though. What? Did they just, like, hold a land? I mean, I guess they're gonna just kill us with... Oh. Weird. Alright. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Collective Brutality, I like bringing in against these red decks because, well, you know. Shock. Um, I'm not sure how good Liliana is here. You want the cards that deal four damage. keep this hand first turn crypt second turn ruins uh 
I will keep it. I guess we're both keeping it. Is there a reason why we would play Shock over Wild Slash? I can't actually... That just seems like an oversight on the on the creator's part. Yeah, that just seems like a complete mistake, right? Three toughness is so annoying. I also feel like this deck wouldn't mind like two fatal passages and like another one more fatal push. So it'd probably go like one fatal push for one slash, cut one mountain, and one swamp. However, we do only have 21 lands in the deck. I don't think you want three Chandras, to be honest. Well, that's something, I guess. Anwire Garrison? I feel like this matchup's terrible for us right now. I don't know what happened. So this makes two 1-1s? One -ones? Good lord. Do we just want anger in this? All the three toughness creatures are just backbreaking. I think we just actually play Bone Crusher Giant and hope they don't have Lightning Strike. I guess. <laughs> okay. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. Well, that'll do. All right, so definitely bring in these angers. Liliana just doesn't seem good in this matchup. Um, Yeah, all right. Turn one Thoughtseize is so 
Oh, God. We're going to turn two Crocs, so I think I'm just going to have to take the four and suck it up. Oral, what's going on, my dude? Thank you. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate you. I think we're just having to take it. Okay. Hanwire Garrison and Torbran. I think we just take the... Oh, we also have Carry Zev. And Solst. Look, they have to... Look at like, this. Is one, two, three, four. Look at this perfect curve. We can kill the Soul Scar Mage with Bone Crusher Giant. I'm not too worried about that. Let's get rid of Carry Zev. We just don't have a way to deal with Carry Zev right now. And she has the same three toughness that uh, Hanwire Garrison does. So. She's just going to deal us more before. They also do only have two lands. Turn one Soul Scar. We go Bone Crusher Giant. What up, Zombub? Oh man, that busty emote with the friggin' hearts on his gas. Alright, so Mountain, Soulscar Major gone. Okay, now I think I just wait. If I had a million dollars. Now I have the song stuck in my head. Oh man. Anger of the Gods looking real spicy. I mean, you know, three of their four cards, Hanwar Garrison, Lightning Strike, and Mountain. And we're in their upkeep. So I guess we know three of their five cards. This is an emotional roller coaster. I think we're just keeping Bone Crusher up and hoping they play Hanwire Garrison. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Anger of the gods. All right, so we have three removal spells. We just have to make sure we can get... Okay. Oh, that was nice. All right, that guy's going to die. Untapped land. Dragon Skull Summit. That'll do. Want to do this now so they can't lightning strike us and deal us five in response. Here comes Glorybringer. Okay. Well. So we know their only card is Lightning Strike, so we're just going to kill this guy too. Land. Another land. Dragon Skull Summit. Bone Crusher Giant. I kind of just want to double Bone Crusher here.
Because rider like future turns like rider costs three, and double bone crusher costs four. So if they play like a glory bringer, I want to be able to cast it uh, to be able to kill it on my turn or on their turn on any turn. It's just cheaper. Like this is a better use of mana. All right, they didn't do anything, so another hand is lightning strike. So we can actually play you. See what we hit. Nice. Nope. And then we'll just play Bone Crusher Giant because we have two of them. And they're going to kill the Bone Crusher Giant. And then they take two. And now our Murderous Rider should live. As long as they don't top deck a glory. That's annoying. That's surprisingly annoying, actually. Okay, they had a land. Nice. I am going to kill you. Untap. One, two, three, four. So now they can't kill a Chandra with a Glorybringer, and we are we have four power of lifelink on the board. Sure. I feel like we're in good shape. <laughs> I'm no expert. Let's actually excel the okay, they conceded. <laughs> I was like, let's see what we're gonna hit. I'm still curious. What if hit a swamp? Been able to play this guy. Attack for four. Go to ten. Crox is one card away, I guess. We could have collected Brutality to just play Crox of this turn, which probably puts us way over the top. Either way, 3-1 with this deck, too. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, coolstuffinc.com uh, with promo code frank5, and manatraders.com, which is an amazing subscription service if you're interested in buying or renting, rather, um, you know, Magic Online cards for Pioneer, for Modern, what have you. Check out all those links and promo codes. They're in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.